Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create zip backup files for each database by using MySQL Dumpin, MySQL or MariaDB. So first of all, what I would like to do, I would like to create a directory in which we will take the backups. So, so I will check our current uh, position. We are at the root and I'm going to create a directory called MySQL Backup. Um, okay, so directory is created. Uh, and now next step is we would like to change the ownership of uh, MySQL Backup directory. So we can give full permission to the MySQL user. Okay, give me one second. So we'll use the ch owner here to change the ownership. Okay, so we set sudo ch owner recursive MySQL and MySQL dump. Uh, sorry, backup. That's the directory. Next, what we would like to do, we would like to create a backup user in MariaDB so we can use for taking the backups. So let's log into the MariaDB or MySQL and then create a backup user. Okay, let me clear this. Uh, create user, backup user at the rate localhost identified by your password. So uh, if you need to run the backups from another node, then you will be providing the IP of that one right here. And the uh, password in my case is very simple. You can change it to some complicated uh, password or difficult password. Okay, now next step, uh, we will provide some permissions to the backup user. So I have all these permissions set up for this uh, user. Uh, I will be providing this uh, scripts uh, in the description so you can uh, copy and paste from there and uh, make it happen for you. Now we exit from uh, MariaDB and uh, then uh, we go to terminal back and we need to run uh, this uh, script. Uh, in my case, uh, I have a database, uh, a lot of test databases. Um, so what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to select some of the databases uh, that uh, I'm going to take the backup instead of uh, all databases. I have around 200 databases. So uh, let's walk uh, through the script first uh, and then we can select uh, uh, the, let me see, may, let me make one change here. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, so right here, uh, the very first line is just the comments, so uh, doesn't really matter, provide the username that you will be using for the backup. So in my case, I have declared a variable and then save the username. And second part to provide the password for that user. So we have test123, that's the password we have and we have saved in the variable. Provide the backup directory path in which you, will, you would like to create a new directory and save your uh, backup. So, so you have a backup directory variable here and uh, that's equal to MySQL backups back and then uh, inside a uh, new directory will be created with the date stamp. So you have date and then you have time. Okay, once uh, that the directory is going to be created, if it is not there, uh, next part is uh, we'll get the list of the databases. Um, in my case, if it is uh, only single database, you can provide single database. Uh, but in my case, I was uh, looking for more databases. So let's say I have uh, uh, 200 databases and I would like to get uh, the list of the databases uh, which has 99 in them. So this query is going to be the just same uh, until here you have uh, MySQL, you're providing username, password, and here, so we are saying select distinct uh, table schema from information schema dot tables. That means give me the list of the databases uh, where uh, database name uh, like uh, 99. Uh, so in my case, uh, uh, I have uh, databases uh, which just start with like test database underscore one, nine, one, two, three, and uh, like that. So that's why I have this query here, excuse me. Now you do, so once you take this the list, uh, then what you're going to do, you're going to loop through it. Uh, so MySQL dash uh, your username dash password, your password coming through the variable, and then you are saying uh, our database. So, so first, uh, once it's get the list, then it's provide the next database here, and uh, you will uh, skip uh, log tables, uh, and you will say gzip. So you are zipping those backups, uh, and where you are putting them uh, in the backup directory, and then uh, providing the name of that database dot sql dot gz. So that's how you will do, and then you at the end you have done. So you are using a do loop and uh, to uh, go across the list of the databases. So let's hit enter. And in my case, uh, actually, there isn't a database that starts uh, with 99. So instead of that one, I should have actually a uh, percentage on both sides. So you can always just change this query where you say database name in uh, 
one two three hold on let me clear this so you can see it clear and that's where I made the change if you see uh, right here person 99 so uh, I'm looking for the databases which has 99 in them okay so we hit enter and the, it uh, took the backups now we go to the directory and see where exactly it is okay so that's our directory I'm gonna go and uh, CD MySQL and you can see that different uh, directories with timestamp has been uh, created uh, why as we run the database backup even there was a case is of when uh, there was no database uh, uh, selected for the backup but still uh, it did create the directory so empty directories uh, so you can further program this one uh, if uh, in that case you wanna don't have those uh, directories here but in my case uh, I'm fine uh, uh, now you can see that I see D to uh, one of the directory and uh, you can see that uh, test database uh, and which has 99 in that test database which has 99 in that and backups are uh, created uh, so you can uh, see the size of uh, the file right here so these both bad databases are the same actually I just created the replicas of them so this is how you will uh, create uh, the backup uh, in the zip uh, uh, format uh, and then you can uh, save some uh, uh, space on the disk um, uh, I will have the link in the description so you can use it uh, for this script and uh, good luck I will see you guys in next video